I wish I could be with you tonight at Psych Armor Institute to honor Patrick Kennedy for his selfless dedication to our nation's veterans. I cannot think of a more courageous leader and advocate for veterans struggling with mental health issues, traumatic brain injuries, and addiction. Well, we're at a point of time in American history where we're finally coming out of the shadows for those of us suffering from mental illness and addiction. And it's absolutely crucial to change public policy. Look at the tragedies in Umpqua. Look at all of the other tragedies. All of them are a result of a failed mental health system. Why is that allowed to continue? Because we're all silent about these issues. Patrick saw that bringing mental health out of the shadows required us to come together as a community, united by purpose and understanding. Patrick recognized that we all have a moral responsibility to ensure that no one is forced to endure a silent and solitary struggle without the support and compassion they need and deserve. When I first got to the Senate, Patrick Kennedy was already in our Rhode Island congressional delegation and I saw him assure the passage of the mental health parity law. And we began working on the early stages of what was gonna become the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act. Once he was outside of Congress, Patrick worked so hard to garner support for the Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, and ultimately it made it easy to pass in both houses by huge margins. Uh, his work uh, on sponsoring and passing uh, the parity law uh, in 2008 was critical to making sure uh, that we, we didn't discriminate anymore when it came to getting people treatment we, and didn't discriminate against them just because they were looking for treatment for a substance use disorder as opposed to diabetes or heart disease. Um, so there are a lot of individuals and families that are better off now because of the work that Patrick did. The loss of stigma to mental illnesses and challenges and the suffering that people who uh, face these diseases, their suffering has to be recognized by the community and treated. I think that's his mission in life, he's uh, succeeding at it. He has helped uh, to lessen the negative attitudes and prejudice around addiction. He's made it possible for more people to come forward uh, and admit uh, that they are facing a challenge with a substance use disorder. He's made it possible for people to ask for help who otherwise may have remained in the shadows. Uh, that's important work. We may not ever be able to fully quantitate the full impact of what Patrick has done, but it's safe to say that the ripple effects from his uh, actions in Congress and from the, his advocacy and his work on the outside uh, have affected many, many lives and will probably affect many more in the years to come. And Patrick and Psych Armor both know that that responsibility is all the more sacred as it applies to the men and women who served our country. Just as the military leaves no one behind on the battlefield, we must leave no veteran behind when they come home. As a congressman and as a citizen, Patrick Kennedy's bold leadership and advocacy has given hope to millions, and he continues to lead the fight against the invisible wounds of war. Congratulations, Patrick, to you and Amy, and your family for the amazing work you're doing. Thank you for your help on the homelessness and veterans issues here in Los Angeles that you help Bob and I work on together. I know you'll keep that issue close to your heart, and I know you're working hard on so many uh, people suffering and you're doing an amazing job in relieving that suffering. Patrick, congratulations on your leadership. I wish you well. You are a great friend and a wonderful leader. I know Patrick's father and my dear friend Ted Kennedy is watching over you tonight with enormous pride. Thank you, Patrick. Congratulations on this well-deserved Psych Armor Advocacy Award.